In this quick tip video, we're going to use the hole function to make holes in the face of this part here. In order to do that, there's a couple preparation things we need to do. First thing I'm going to do is go to my planes manager and I'm going to activate my whole plane that I made here. Now this activates a plane that's on this face. So I'm going to go to the top view of that plane. Now I'm going to create some points to do my counterboard holes on. I'm going to go into my wireframe menu and choose a bolt circle. The number of holes is going to be six, so that works good. I need to select my base point. Now that I have that, I can fill in the proper information. We're going to use a di diameter of five inches. And we're going to use points instead of arcs in this particular case. That looks good. So we'll accept the result. I have points that I can put my holes onto. Now that we have reference points to drill on, we can put our holes and counterbore in. So I'm going to go into solids. I'm going to use the hole function. In this case here, I don't want a simple hole, so I'm going to come down and I say I want a hole and counterbore. My dimensions are going to work at this point, so I'll keep those. And I'm going to select the positions. If I select this little arrow here, it says add position. And I'm going to use a filter here and just say all points. And once we hit enter, we get a preview. In this case, our preview is not correct. The reason for this is our plane is set the to top. And we don't want the to top in this particular case. So we can change this by going into our button here. And we're going to select a face. I'll select that face here. And now everything is what we intended. So I'm going to confirm that. I had a discussion with a longtime Mastercam user on this functionality. And his opinion was because we'd already set a plane to put our points in, it should have automatically followed it to put our counterbores in. And I kind of agree and disagree. If, if you were limited to that, it would be very difficult to put holes in different planes and orientations. Right now, with our plane orientation being set inside the box here, and being able to pick either a plane or a face, or go into our plane managers and select things there, or a nomen or a vector, it gives us a lot more flexibility to do many different things in many different pieces of geometry. One advantage of using the hole function is we can modify these holes if necessary. So if, to do that we need to go into our solids manager, find our counterbird holes. In this case here I double click on there and I can change these diameters let's say it's going to be 3 8 I want my counterboard diameter to be a half inch. Depth in this particular case is going to be a quarter inch. So I can quickly go back and modify different features in my solids manager. I'm going to say that's OK confirm that selection and I need to regenerate my solid at this time. Now that I've regenerated my solid I've made the edits to my holes and I'm ready to manufacture my part. 